Welcome to this video. Today, we're going to take a look at how to get free website lists for GSA website contact. Because the harsh truth is simply, if you're starting out, you probably have no idea how many websites to send. And I will give you a shocking example, okay? So if we take a look at our GSA website contact campaign right here, we can see this one. 214,000 websites, 60,000 have been submitted and around 120,000 have failed and around 35,000 have been filtered. So that means out of, let's say, 220,000 possible websites, we have submitted 60,000 contact forms, right? So the biggest challenge in contact form marketing is simply getting a big enough list. And if we now take a look at our affiliate dashboard, this one right here, we have received two registrations. And that means for every 30,000 submitted contact forms, we have one sign up. Let's say 220 to 60K to two, which brings us to 110,000, 30,000, and one. So if we wanted to have 10 signups, we would need 300,000 submitted contact forms and 1,100,000 possible websites. Now, the results may vary, right? This is just an example campaign. There's no real strategy behind it, no thought, and it's the bare minimum campaign you can think of. So let's now take a look at the free lists. And I have compiled this list, which are resources that I have come back to over the past years again and again. And I wanna show you some highlights here. You will get this link in the description, and there are some specific websites that I want to show you. First, let's go with this one, Networks DB. Every single row is another CSV file of websites, and many of them are free. Let's take a look at what do we have? One th almost 2,000, 3,000, almost 1,000, 4,000 domains, okay? And they are not the best ones, but people have set up websites with these. So get started with these lists, and also, if you want to spend five bucks on a good website list, just an example, Belgium, I don't know, I picked a random country right now, almost 1 million domains, okay, for five bucks. And if you didn't know, Belgium is a really rich country and they speak English very well. <laughs> okay, do with that information what you want. But this is the first website that I wanted to show you. Let's go over to the next one, Cloudflare. And here you can find, for example, these huge domain lists, it's 1 million domains, okay? However, it's not really recommended to use these lists as your target lists, right? Because these are the top 1 million domains. That means the 1 million domains with the most traffic on the internet. And you can imagine you don't want to spam their contact form if they have a contact form at all. Even if your message gets through, they won't respond. So you can use these lists in a similar fashion, but it's important to set up your blacklist just as a side note. The next one, newly registered domains, and you can find here two CSV files. If you click on them, you will find recently registered domains within the last seven days. And people have registered these domains to create websites, right? You will probably have a higher fail rate on these, but if you wait for a week or a month or two months, more of these websites will have contact forms because people have developed their websites, right? And you can simply go in here, copy, and then go to your GSA and just import the URLs. And now if we go back to the list, and there's something really awesome I wanted to show you. Because here we have three lists of over 7 million company data sets, 23 million, 17 million. Okay, these alone are about 40 million company websites. You can imagine these files are big, right? This one, for example, alone is one gigabyte. It's one CSV file and one gigabyte. So you definitely need to split up the file before you feed it to GSA because most likely it will break a GSA. But let me know, can GSA accept a one gigabyte CSV file? I don't know. All right, and it's similar thing with uh, these other websites here. Download them, clean them and then you can use them in GSA website contact. And for cleaning, you can use Notepad++, which is basically a more advanced Notepad. And um, yeah, I mean, check out this list. It's awesome. It can really kickstart your first GSA campaigns. 
and then let me know how it works. And also, please let me know if you have further additions for this list so we can grow it together. And then, of course, there's a little bonus I wanted to show you because basically you already have the biggest database of businesses out there. You just need to get to the data, right? And if you look for your target audience on Google Maps, you will find lists like this. And then you are going to install a little Chrome extension, which is called Instant Data Scraper. And now you will go to Google Maps, search for your keyword in your location, you click this bar, and then you can see the website is highlighted in some kind of brown here. And the table down here should show me my data, but it doesn't. So I will click try another table. Now the list is highlighted and I can see the correct data in this list. Now I will simply locate the next button, click here, back to Data Scraper, and then I will click Start Crawling. And now Data Scraper will click through all these lists in the pagination down here and get this data into the CSV file. It will get you hundreds of results and you can simply click Save the CSV file. And then you have it. Okay, perfect. Now, of course, free lists have their pros and cons, right? So obviously the pros are it's free, but let's be honest, it's never really free, right? If you get free lists, you need to clean them, you need to filter them, you need to run them through, you need to troubleshoot, save them, organize them, and so on. So in some kind of way, you always pay for free lists. But in my opinion, if you're just getting started, take as much free resources as you can. And as soon as you are profitable, switch over to paid lists. And this brings us to the last point, paid lists. There are various providers out there who provide website lists for GSA contact form marketing, and you have to check them. There's not always guarantee that these work, and sometimes they also can be spammed, but this is a big can, right? There are trustworthy providers out there. Sometimes you maybe just have to test them. But this also brings us to another point, website I wanted to show you, buildwith.com, which is a mix of not really free, but super cheap and pretty qualified. So buildwith.com is a database where you can find the tech stack of websites or companies. So if we search here for WordPress, we can now theoretically download all the lists with all websites that run on WordPress, okay? And these are almost 70 million websites. But let's go even more detailed. Contact form seven. This is a contact form plugin for WordPress. Now let's check out how many websites run on contact form seven, 24 million websites, okay? You can download these lists, but not for free, right? They have plans and they start at around $300 a month. And even better, you don't necessarily need to pay this. You can also try to find someone on a freelancer platform who has access to build with, and they can sometimes give you these lists for, I don't know, 40 to 50 bucks, right? That basically concludes our video. Now, as an action point, I want to tell you, download lists, get GSA, start sending, and make your first dollar. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment. It really helps me to help you, okay? I believe in you. I believe that you can make money online, whether it be today, this week, this month, or this year, but it's possible, so let's get going. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to the next one.